My name is Edwin Espinosa. I am from Colombia. I am engineer electronic. I began my PhD thesis in University Rovira y Virgil in 2003. Uh, my topic subject of my thesis is uh, in carbon nanotube for development, development gas sensor. I will finish my thesis in September this year. This is well before the end of the nanotube Ibris project. I am helping the new PhD student Radwan to start his work in the project. We are producing sensors using the metal decorated nanotubes and making measurements. My name is Radu Ionescu. I work as a postdoctoral researcher in the gas sensors group from Rubira Virgili University. I am from Romania. In this moment, I'm helping Eduardo Bet in the supervising of the PhD thesis of my colleagues, Edwin Espinosa and Radwan Echib. My task deals with the fabrication of the gas-sensing materials, their deposition of gas-sensing substrates, and also with the performing of the measurements. I will be involved in the project for the whole period of the project, and because of the experience that I acquired during my PhD thesis regarding signal processing and pattern recognition methods, at the end of the project, we hope to make a software able to, to separate benzene from other interfering gases. Uh, my name is Larry Berdouan. I'm from Morocco and I'm a physicist. Uh, I start my uh, PhD uh, studies in October last year. So I'm uh, in my uh, first uh, doctorate uh, year. I'm working in uh, the nano to hybrids uh, project, uh, developing a sensor uh, based on metal uh, decorated uh, carbon nanotubes. I have uh, started measuring the first sensor with uh, nano to hybrids uh, material. I have uh, also uh, been in the charge of uh, studying the state of art uh, in measuring benzene uh, with gas sensors. Hello, I'm Eduard Lluvet. I'm an associate professor at the uh, Rovira Ibercelli University in Tarragona, and I am the person in charge of the nano to hybrids project here in, in Tarragona. Uh, well, you've seen that uh, we have a small uh, set of people working in the project and I am in fact the only the only Spaniard here in the project so you've seen that we have some person from Morocco we have another person from Colombia and finally uh, a Romanian so it's very hard for us uh, being an engineering school to find uh, uh, Spanish people to work in in research so we have to to find them in in other countries uh, I think that uh, we have made a, a good start with the project, so we have already uh, the first materials received from, from Belgium and we've been producing some sensors and we have some preliminary results. In fact, very nice detection of uh, nitrogen oxide. Uh, it is not so good with benzene, but we are working, uh, uh, studying the state of the art and trying to find uh, what will be the, the next materials to be uh, try it in, in the frame of this, of this project. So in the, next, uh, in the next few days, what we'll be doing in, the, in, in this project is uh, I have a meeting. I'm having, I'm having a meeting in Barcelona with uh, Marc Delgado from the Sensotran company. And we are very near now to finish the specifications for, for the project. So we've been defining uh, what will be the, the scenario for the use of the gas sensors developed in the frame of this project and now we have to come up with a document uh, explaining exactly what will be the uh, conditions of use of the sensors developed and what in fact what are the aims uh, for the sensors and uh, well on on the other hand uh, we have uh, now been reviewing the the state of the art for uh, for detecting benzene and we have found very very little things uh, published on using carbon nanotubes and benzene detection but uh, 
we believe that we have uh, already uh, selected a few materials that can be interesting for, for the project. In this first uh, video diary, what we have uh, done is introducing the people that are working in the Nano2 Hybrids project here in Tarragona. And from now on, what we'll do is show uh, how the project evolves. So we hope that uh, the next uh, video diaries will be interesting and we'll do a little bit better than now. So thank you, bye.